Hi, Joe Bergeron here from the Association of Vermont Credit Unions. If you're a credit union employee or volunteer, then you should have an interest in what happens to your credit union's debit card program when a Federal Reserve regulation mandated by Congress goes into effect on July 21st of this year. Its primary purpose is to dramatically reduce the amount of interchange that merchants pay whenever members use debit cards. The proposal sets a 12 cent cap on interchange regardless of the size of the purchase. But that 12 cents comes nowhere near covering the overall cost of debit card operations at your credit union shoulders. Especially with the rampant growth of fraud and constant replacement of compromised cards we've seen lately from data breaches at merchants and their processors. Major ones, like Sony's 70 million compromised cards, and Michael's stores with compromised swipe machines in almost every store in 20 states. Now proponents of so-called swipe fee reform tell you not to worry because the new law has a carve-out for credit unions under $10 billion in assets. And they're right about that carve-out. But the problem is, it's a hollow and meaningless protection for credit unions, and here's why. One, the new law won't require any network, like Visa or MasterCard, to make sure that your credit union gets the same interchange it always has, while they pay big banks only 12 cents per transaction. Two, even if they did create multiple interchange tiers, no network has to keep your interchange where it currently is forever. Three, if the interchange that merchants pay when accepting your credit union's card is higher than it is for some big bank, the merchant will be able to incent your members toward that big bank card, or just not accept your credit union's higher cost card. And lastly, today your credit union chooses which network it wants its debit transactions to flow through, but the new law puts that choice in the hands of the merchant, and your credit union will always have to provide merchants with at least two non-related networks in which to choose, at your expense. What will credit unions have to do once this new law takes effect? Well, most likely, they'll have to find fee income elsewhere to offset the expense of debit cards or, in the worst case, drop their card program altogether. It's also unlikely that merchants drop prices like they say they will, so in the end, consumers lose by paying the same to the merchant and more to the financial institution. There's little time before the new law goes into effect. We need your help to tell Vermont Senators Leahy and Sanders that although we support reform, it can't be at the detriment of local credit unions. We need them to support legislation that provides more time to carefully study the issue and ensure that any changes to the way debit cards work don't benefit one side of the debit transaction at the expense of the other. And the easiest way for you to help is to go to capwiz.com forward slash CUNA. You'll find talking points to easily include, personalize them as you like, and have it automatically go to our Vermont senators. Don't wait. If you've commented already, please do so again. Every message counts, and time is of the essence. Thank you for your help.